Hey, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for June 14, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. The reading special is still going on for the next little while. If you guys are interested, you're more than welcome to go ahead and purchase with me. Tarotbarbie.com. Let's get it, Virgo's coming with the High Priest, the Eight of Wands, and the Moon card. This is going to be coming in for the new moon that's going to be showing up on June 18th. I do recommend that you guys always make sure that you guys take care of yourself, protect yourself, do you guys what you guys need to do. Um... I see that there's, there's a lot of people who are just hating on your energy right now because you guys are coming in as a full energy. You guys, like, do your thing. You live your life. You're whatever the case is. But whatever you guys had going on for yourselves, like, maybe, like, financial instability where it's, like, up and down, up and down, it's saying that your money's going to be just fine just now. Don't even worry about it. It's, you guys are at the Ace of Pentacles to the Six of Wands. You guys are going to be just fine, on, especially on a financial level. You guys are, like, just so tired and exhausted from everything that, that your enemies have been trying to do onto you guys. And they're trying to, like, pile you guys up with so much stress and so burden so that way you don't reach your Ace of Pentacles or the Six of Wands. They don't want you to get your success. They don't want you to get your recognition. They don't want that. They want you to, like, I don't know, they want to bully you out. That's what I see here. But they're saying that you're not going anywhere. It is what it is. Seven of Swords, you guys caught this person. They sit there and they talk a lot of shit. Two-faced energy. Not only are they two-faced to themselves, but they're also two-faced. You see that? Because they're also two-faced to the people that they hang around with and are asking them for help too. Remember what I said? F friends are problems. Friends, when it comes to magical stuff, it's problems. You, It's a problem. Because at any given time, they're going to come in and they're going to attack you. I don't recommend it. Like, I don't recommend it. Like, if you guys are better off being by yourself, just do your own thing and be, be alone. But the moment, like, a, a lot of two-faced energy, two-faced, five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, seven of swords, like... This person is talking a whole lot of shit. And it's like they're talking a whole lot of shit while you're not even in the room to back yourself up. You see me? So this person's obviously jealous of you. They're selfish. They're manipulative. They want to have all the control. They want to have all the power. I see a lot of sword energy happening here. I do believe it's a lot of fucking voodoo, to be honest with you guys. Just take heed, Virgos, and just take care of yourselves, all right? Anyway, it's fine, because what's going to happen is they're going to suffer with the Eight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Their time is coming. That's what Spirit is saying. Like, their time is coming, Ace of Cups. And everything that they did onto you guys will be now manifesting in their, their life. There's no running away from the situation. Uh, they tried to destroy you, hurt you, harm you, but what's going to happen is, while well, you guys end up getting love, prosperity coming into your life, success, prosperity, all that good stuff, they're going to fall into the tower card. A lot of you guys are might be in the back back looking to see what's going on, but it looks like you guys are, you know, you guys look like you guys know everyone's business from what I'm seeing here. Being the hermit card to the tower card, you guys be knowing everybody's business. Um, yeah, Virgos. And there, and, and somebody here is in the back, like looking at you or whatever the case is, and somebody is realizing that it doesn't matter what they're realizing. I'm going to keep that to myself. They don't need, you don't, People don't need to know what you, what you, they don't need to know what you carry. I'm not going to sit down. I'm not even going to show it to you. Anyways, with the four of cups, like spirit knows how, how much this obviously hurts you and disappoints you. But spirit is like asking you guys, like, we know what you're going through. We, we hired you to be a part of this situation and this energy here. We just need you to defend yourself and fight. We're going to take care of you and handle everything on our side, but we just need you to defend yourself and fight because you're the reason why all of, like you're not that you're the reason why all this is happening, but we need you. We need your you as a person to be here because all your enemies have to learn a valuable lesson. And the only way they're going to learn their learn the lesson is if they try you because the moment that they try you, they fall immediately. There is no getting back up after what they've done to you and they know that. So they try and come back after again and then again and then again and then again and then again and again, and again until they until they're left with nothing. Five of Pentacles. Now they don't now they don't got nothing. Now they don't got no more money and and you guys are just wild powerful with that Five of Wands. You're not worried about them. Like, you guys got groups of people in fives, tens. They're, like, linking up five people. Five people here, five people there, five people there. It's, like, 16 people attacking you all at one time. Because every, there's a click in every single, there's a click everywhere. You see me? And it's, like, they're all attacking you at one time. It's, like, 20 people attacking you and throwing you with energy. <laughs> But you're one person and you're defending the crap out of yourself and you're just like, yeah, you can't get me. <laughs> I like to see you try and get me. She can't get me. <laughs> Seven of Wands. 
they're gonna lose and they're gonna end up with a lot of financial struggles. Is somebody here did a spell to get you guys sick? <sighs> if somebody here did a spell to get you guys sick, Virgos, they're gonna end up getting sick for that. You guys are just gonna be hanging around doing your own thing. Make sure you guys always take care of yourselves because a lot of going on. You guys are exhausted and need higher. You guys need to rest and need, you also need to sleep from what I'm seeing here. You guys are gonna be just fine. If you guys were having financial difficulties with the Seven of Pentacles, it's saying you're not going to have them anymore. An opportunity is going to come towards you guys. You guys have done the shadow self. You guys have done the shadow work. So congratulations on that. Because you guys actually had gone within and did the and went through the dark night of the soul and did your whole entire shadow self and and understood it, did what you need to do. Like you guys are not just sitting here bump on a log. You know what I mean? Like you're getting, you're getting, you're getting. While they're not doing any work on themselves and fixing themselves and going through the dark night of the soul and trying to work, figure it out. You guys, it's just like you're like, okay, they're attacking. You're gonna do the work. You know, like you're, you're not gonna indulge or entertain that energy. You're gonna make sure that you are fulfilling your life purpose by making sure that whatever divine and spirit is telling you, you're gonna go and do that instead because it does. You cannot fight evil with evil. It's never gonna win. It's never gonna win. Y'all be using the same friggin' spirits to be attacking each other. You guys got spirits. <laughs> It's weird, like, you guys have the same, like, spirits attacking each other, like, attack, like, you invoke a spirit to come in, they attack this person, then this person is using the exact same spirit and they're attacking you, it's like, like, your spirit is not, that spirit, that deep, that devil energy of the spirit, that, that spirit ain't your bread, you know. <laughs> it's not your friend. <laughs> okay fine they're your friend they're your friend here does that make you feel better <laughs> but you guys have done the work with the shadow side to the ten of cups and because you guys did that you guys are going to be able to reach your happiness your fulfillment everything <laughs> uh, spirit is going to give you so many chances and so many opportunities to to like to weigh out your options with the seven of cups I don't believe that you're going to have to really figure out what your next move is going to be. I do believe that Spirit is going to choose it for you with the Seven of Cups. So you guys are going to be just fine. But yeah, I see that you guys are defending yourself and protecting yourself uh, too. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the Queen of Wands. I see people here sitting down recruiting talking to each other on trying to figure out how they're going to do you one i do believe the king of wands is already in reverse and it is what it is they're already blocked for whatever reason especially when it comes to their financial level they're blocked in all areas of their life but from what i've seen they're blocked in all areas of the they're trying to do voodoo energy they're trying to use their sword energy they're trying to use their wand energy they're trying to find ways to mess you up and if they come and try and find a way to mess you up with the eight with the star card it's saying that star that what they're going to do so what spirit is going to do is they're going to take that and they're going to pour it out for them. If you don't wish it for yourself, then don't wish it for other people. If you're okay losing that losing that star energy, if you're okay losing anything, then go ahead, do what you need to do. Because it looks like somebody here doesn't care if they get their karma or if they get something taken away. Because I can see here that the moment that they try and do you one, they lose it all. Like they lose, And they know that they're going to lose it all. But they can't handle the fact that you're defeating them. That's the only thing. Because you're not working with evil. You don't you do not do evil shit. I don't think you guys are really doing anything at this point, to be honest with you guys. I think you guys are just like, who cares? Like, whatever happens, happens. Because you guys are just going to continue to just, like, move forward and it is what it is, right? Eight of Cups. This person here, it could be an Aquarius. They're going to be going to a group of people with the Three of Cups. Three swords for three people. Yeah, you want to use sword energy to hurt somebody. You want to do voodoo on people's heart space. You want to harm them with the voodoo. If you guys feel any type of sharp pain, make sure you guys clear that energy immediately. However you choose to do it. There's a million ways to do things. I don't know. So with the three of swords, yeah. And all those swords come falling back. Yeah, three swords for three people. But because you're ungrateful and you don't understand and it's not enough, somebody here doesn't understand. We're going to slap you with eight more, with seven more swords and eight more swords. Now you guys got nine swords, nine swords plus one, one for each person. So every single one of them are going to be in the ten of swords, ten, ten, ten. Oh, fuck, my God, this is, yo. 
<laughs> it's a wrap. Three swords for three people. Three of cups. They want to do work on you to block you, to block your money, whatever the case is. But what they end up doing is they block themselves. With the four of pentacles to the three of cups to the three of swords, it's a wrap for them. No matter what they do to click and recruit, whatever the case is, it's done and over with them. With the three of swords, yeah, one sword for each person. But because there's three people involved here, two of them are showing themselves with the queen of wands and the king of wands. And then they got an Aquarius on the side here too. Okay, but the Aquarius is showing up in the she. Okay, so it's a girl. So it looks like the the Aquarius girl, she's showing up as in the Three of Cups energy. And so three swords for three people plus nine swords. One, two, three. That's nine, nine, nine. Coming to a completion, right? Because remember what I said to you. It's the three swords. One sword for each person. Plus nine. That's ten, ten, ten. It's coming to an ending. You had... Your chance to fix your ways and you didn't death card boom done they're stressed out they're in despair they're having anxiety they're having problems here now right and you guys are just like I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just cute listen I'm just like they're trying to so spirits trying to say like little you all these people are coming after little you Little you, look at how little and cute you are with the Page of Cups. They're all coming after you. <laughs> They're coming after little you, yo, because they can't handle it. You're moving on because you guys know that you have the right of way with the Six of Swords. You're like, I don't care. I'm going to heal myself. I need healing. <laughs> and the strength card. Like, you know what? You, you way too. You're so strong, Virgos. Like, you guys are so funny. Like, I always love this energy for a lot of you guys you know not everyone obviously but for this one specifically it's very cute because it's like it's like it takes a group a group of people to attack little you you understand me and you still end up on top because what they do is that they underestimate your energy they underestimate you they're just like yeah let's recruit let's hurt and harm and do this and do that but they're going up against somebody who has the right of passage way I not gonna tell you guys what you are I don't feel like I need to but I do see that you guys are strong you're powerful you're protected you're everything and more spirit and God and the angels love you guys so much to the point where they're just like it takes a group of people to attack little you and they still end up messed up so since we know that it's the energy of karma is messing them up Spirit, divination, and everything else is also going to put them into judgment and they're going to end up having to ha suffer a long time. You guys are going to move forward to healing yourselves, taking care of yourselves, and just protecting your energy. And you're very strong. Like, you know, spirit loves you guys so much, Virgos, because it's like you don't go out of your way to hurt or harm anybody. Yeah, because you're protected. It's a chariot card. You're absolutely protected with divination. Uh, a couple days after the new moon, oh, it's game on. It's game on. So we're saying, yo, game on. You want to attack people during the new moon and hurt them and harm them? Okay, well, let's see. Because it's saying that <clears throat> with the chariot card, they're going to handle their business. Six of Pentacles. But Spirit is not going to let nothing happen to you guys. King of Pentacles. They're going to make sure that you guys, like, you guys are getting your money. You guys are still going to get your money. Your money's going to start coming in a lot more faster. Because they're done and over with. There's no coming up. After this new moon, I promise you, Virgos, after this new moon that's about to happen, if they even remotely come in and attack you, it's a wrap for them. Three swords for three people. One, one, one. Nine swords is falling on top of them. That's ten, ten, ten. Death card, it's, an, it's a wrap. It's done. They will never... I promise you for the next 10 years because that's how long that karma is going to last on them. It never going to go away. It will never go away. Like they're saying like they might try and pay somebody else to come in and maybe help them out in some sort of way. But I think they're going to be very cautious about it with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're not. No, no, no. That's it. That karma's coming in. Or, yeah, karma's coming in. I think that this King of Pentacles, they are choosing to pay somebody of the King of Pentacles or whatever. It's saying that this person is going to like listen to their intuition. And they're going to see that you're actually the energy of the lover's card. You're actually very loving and very sweet. And they're going to see that you're actually an earth angel. 
And because they see that you, just because they don't see that you're an earth angel, this one will see that you're an earth angel and they're going to say, no, I cannot get myself involved because they know that they're going to get their karma for it. And they, and yeah, no, and they're going to just move past it. And then it's the Knight of Swords, like, just because they don't know what you are. Doesn't mean somebody else is not going to be able to see you for who you are. Do you understand what I mean? You guys got like a bunch of enemies, hateful people attacking like a light worker, an earth angel. Like go bully somebody your own size. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you guys are bullying somebody. <laughs> but you're underestimating them. Anyways, you're so cute, Virgos. You're the page of cups. <laughs> And things are going to start picking up a lot more faster for you. Like, Spirit and the Angels are going to make sure that they show vengeance to anybody. And this King of Pentacles is going to know that if if they do anything or hurt, take money. If they, if This King of Pentacles knows that if they take any kind of money from any of these people to do any type of attacks onto you guys to mess you up or anything, they know for a fact that they're going to get their karma for it. So they're not going to. Because they can see it themselves. Like, this person is like, yeah, they're all about the money and stuff. But then maybe there's just some things... That they know that they can't do. So that means they're going to have to like maybe reject or decline. I can even I can even see this person taking the money from them. But they're not doing nothing to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. Queen of Cups. Just beautiful energy. You're beautiful. And they're going to end up getting their karma. Right? If this person goes. It's like. If this person goes. <laughs> And does anything to you, they automatically get their card because they saw that you were a light worker or an earth angel, and they knew not to do. But if they did do it anyway, they will receive their karma for it. Everybody gonna get involved in it now. Like they're all gonna get murked for it. Two of Wands, Knight of Swords. Yep, they're gonna get they're gonna get murked for it. Believe me, you you guys are gonna be just fine. You guys got more abundance, more prosperity. The spirit loves you guys so much. They're saying that you're such a wonderful and loyal. They're they're. Spirit is saying that you guys are very loyal and very compassionate and very empathetic because you guys are coming in as like a dog energy. You you know how dogs are very loyal and, you know, that's you guys. You guys are very loyal and Spirit loves that about you. 401s. You guys are blessed. And the temperance card. You guys are going to always have the right of way. The angels are gonna, always going to take care of you, you know? You guys are way too strong, Virgos. Emperor card. Way more powerful than what they ever perceived you to be. You guys come off as this little energy, but then at the end of the day, it's like, whoosh. <laughs> and then you do your thing. <laughs> but you be knowing everything. I do believe eventually this person's going to be like, yo, they're not really a page. They're not, they're not really a page. They're not really a page. <laughs> and then they're going to fall into status and depression. You guys are not really going to care. You're stepping into that empress goddess energy. You guys sparkle. That's the truth. King of Cups. Uh, people are going to be trying to figure out what you are and who you are. Page of Swords. Three of Wands. Where do they go? They go to or directly to the Ten of Swords energy. And that's a wrap. Ten of Wands. Uh, world card. So with the Ten of Swords, it's because they've done so much negative shit onto you guys. Uh, God is putting an end to it. You guys end up making it out alive in this situation with the world card upright. Success, prosperity, abundance is coming towards you. This is coming to a complete ending. Because they're going to get hit with the... Th they keep taking me back to the Three of Swords. Three of Swords for three people plus nine, nine, nine. Nine Swords plus one, that's ten, ten, ten. In the end, it comes back down to the Ten of Swords. That's another 10 swords on top of them. Now they ended up with 20, 20, 20. Now they got 20 swords on them. Except because they deserve it. Realistically speaking, they actually do deserve it. Because if they're hitting you guys back, like, back to back constantly, and they're putting you guys in the 10 of sword or the 10 of one energy, they're going to get double that now. Do you understand me? So, yeah, you want to use sword energy to hurt people? Okay, we're going to smash you back with one. But then wait a second. Now we're going to smash you back with another 9. That's going to be 10. So 9 plus 1 is 10. On all of them. And then in the end, 
Like maybe it's going to take like a, a little bit of time, but in the, in the end, it goes back to the Ten of Sword energy. You see me? So now what happens is that 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 10 is now 20. They will never be able to get out of this situation. I They will never. They they did themselves. They did the, they, they outed themselves is what I'm seeing here. Uh, you guys are defending yourself. It is what it is. It obviously makes you sad and it devastates you and hurts. It breaks your heart that people are attacking you guys. You being the high priestess of the Empress Guard, you're you're you know Virgos. It it makes sense why people attack attack you guys to this type of extent. I don't believe other people are getting attacked the way that you guys are getting attacked. To be quite honest with you, could be, but everybody's so focused on you. But they're not looking at anybody else. They're all focused on you. You want to know why they're all focused on you? Because they've never seen something like you before. They've never in their life seen anything like you before. They've never. They don't know what you are. They don't know who you are. <laughs> you guys could honestly be like private investigators and they're coming and sitting here attacking you guys. <laughs> and you're just like, you're, you're like the private investigator you're like you're like you see a type of energy and it's like they're sitting here doing magic and attacking you guys and you guys are just like undercover <laughs> so it's like yeah i got you 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 and then three of wands and then the Oh, this is, a, it could be a lot, a lot more deeper too. Like, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go too much into it or anything like that. But it's like, maybe they're going to end up being investigated. Or that you are the one that holds that energy. And you're like, you might be like, <laughs> you see a type of energy. And it's like, you're doing your part. <laughs> And it's like they're sitting here and attacking you and harming you. It doesn't matter with what you know. At the end of the day, they they come in and they want to they they try to plot and plot and plan. But I don't see them coming out of the situation at all. I do believe that you guys are ahead of the game by one hundred, and it is what it is. And that's why they're bad, big mad at you guys because they're trying to figure out like how are how is little you? How are you little so little, right? Because in the end, it's like they don't know what you carry, and it's none of their business. Just because you're living a human experience doesn't actually mean you're human. You're just having a human experience. That's really whatever. But I can see that. You guys are the big swords. Some of you guys might be literally like undercover cops and whatever the case is. And people are sitting here doing stupid shit. Yeah, all of that's going into the books. Thanks, cuties. Bye.